Hi, this is a Minute of Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now this week I want to talk about how you need to have a thick skin to be an app developer. Okay, so a few weeks ago I was meeting with a client and I was talking about how the reviews are a very big part of you know getting people to download your app. You know you, the, the reviews are like one of the most important thing. And I said, yeah, and oh, you want to have more good reviews than bad reviews. I said, you know, you want to have, um, you know, like you know, this is great, this is fantastic, this sucks, this is great, this is you know, you want to have more good than bad. And he was actually taken aback by this. He said, this sucks. Do, do people actually say that? And and uh, and I, I was I was surprised. I said, well, people have said much much worse, right? Now I like to tell people I have thick skin, right? Because I've been in the army. I've been yelled at by drill sergeants, and I'm used to taking criticism. However, uh, anybody will tell you, my wife will tell you this that I'm terrible at taking criticism. If I think somebody doesn't like something I've done or I think they don't like me for whatever reason, I'll, I'll think about it for days and it eats away at inside of me. However, with apps, it's different. With apps, you have to accept that some people aren't going to like it. Some people are going to say terrible things. Like uh, with, with uh, some of our apps, I've actually had people say, this is terrible. I hope the developer dies. I've got, an, I got one for ear assist here. Let's just see, uh, which says, um, you know, devs, you should feel shameful. I hope you lose hearing and, and make a working app. You know, so you know, that kind of stuff happens. Now, luckily, the majority of the reviews are good. They're positive. Some people are, are so over the top, like this is the best app ever, which is kind of, you know, like, uh, I don't know if it's the best app ever. You know, there's some pretty good ones out there. But uh, you have to be able to accept that people are going to criticize the app. And you can't make something that everybody likes. Uh, otherwise, you know, it's just going to be boring. It's just going to get lost in the crowd. You kind of have to have a little bit of edginess to it, right? It's, it's easy for me to say that I have Ear Spy, which is kind of controversial uh, among people. And I've also got, um, you know, very boring apps, well, uh, learning apps, which aren't exactly as edgy. And they don't get the kind of downloads that they get. But, uh, uh, but that's it. Uh, so my point this week, uh, a bit rambling on, is that you need to have a thick skin to be an app developer. You need to be used to taking criticism. And, you know, one of the nice things about it is that it's not you they're criticizing. It's it's the app. You know, it, it might be the idea or maybe it crashed on their phone or, or what have you. And that's just kind of inevitable. So, uh, so that's it for this week. Now, if you listen to this on the iTunes podcast, please leave a review. I'd love to know uh, you know what you think. Uh, and if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to be able to keep in touch with you each week. And also leave a review, right? I don't, I don't have no idea who's out there. I don't know if anybody's watching this. Leave a review. Just say hi. Just say it was good. It sucked. You know, you, you're rambling too much or whatever. So uh, that's it. I'll talk to you next week.